Team of the Year Red Bull. Anyway, what is up guys? Welcome to this Team of the Year Q&A. Basically, on Twitter, I'll ask you guys awesome questions and I'll try my best to answer them. If you guys want to see more of these sort of videos, hit the like button and I'll try and do more Q&As about myself or more real life videos. So make sure you hit the like button if you want to see that sort of thing. Now, um, this is going to be interesting because I've got all kinds of questions to answer, but I'm going to try and make this video not that long. So let's get the sponsors out of the way. If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coins, check out backlay.com. The link will be in the description and use the code ETONY to get 5% off. If you guys are looking for cheap games, Microsoft points or uh, PSN cards, check the link also in the description. Now, this is the best time to get your coins and, you know, PSN cards and so on because they become sold out. And at the same time, coins start going up. So this is the best time to start collecting all that sort of shit. Now let's move on to the questions. So first up we got Boateng or Hamozu. Which one do I see in Team of the Year? Um, this is a fairly easy question. I think Boateng had a better season than the Hamels. That's all there is to it. Okay, second question is quite embarrassing. How much are you going to spend on packs? I need to think about how to answer this one. Team of the Year Red Bull again. Um, uh, how do I answer this? Just, you know, one grand, two grand, three grand, maybe four, maybe five. Somewhere around there. Who knows? <laughs> no, but seriously, I have no idea how much I'm going to spend. Uh, it's going to be quite a bit. But honestly speaking, uh, between one or two grand. That's how much I'm going to be spending on Team of the Year. Uh, who is the lowest rate Team of the Year? In my opinion, probably going to be... You know what? I don't even know who's going to be in Team of the Year, so I can't really say who's the, he's gonna, who's going to be the lowest rated Team of the Year player. But um, I'm expecting it's going to be the defenders. It's mostly like it's most likely going to be the defenders, or whoever is in Team of the Year and is already the lowest player uh, as a non-inform. So that's how you're going to have to figure it out. Um, who do you think will be a surprise entrant? I'm not sure if this is going to be a surprise entrant because he's in fucking team of the year every single year and for no reason and I have no idea how he makes it into team of the year every single time and that is fucking Danny Alves. I don't know where he comes from all the time but last year he didn't even deserve it. I thought, I thought Lam should have been there or another player but still he makes it as a right back in team of the year. I have no idea how. So. He's not gonna, I'm not sure if that even answers the question because he's not really a surprise entrant anymore, but who knows. Will Suarez be in Team of the Year? Easy answer, I don't think so, because I think other players deserve it more than him now and they're doing it without biting people. I know he's had an amazing season in the Premier League, one of the best strikers when he was there in the world, I'm saying, and at the same time, Muller has been amazing as well. So it's going to be a hard selection of forwards because... Other than, you know, the pre-selected ones, which I think are always going to be Messi Ronaldo, there's one more spot, and it could be between Muller and Ian or Robin. That's who I think deserve it more than him now. Um, they play a really amazing football, and at the same time, Muller has won the World Cup, so I think Muller deserves it the most out of them three. Will high-rate players go down? Easy. Everyone's going to go down. Not only high-rate players, everyone. You'll see even high rate players going for discard price very, very, very likely. And at the same time, if you're looking to buy, you know, Ibrahimovic, Ronaldo, Messi, you're going to see them drop a hell of a lot because everyone's trying to pack those blue players. Everyone's going to be selling their teams, trying to get those packs, and there's going to be just too much supply. And then everyone starts wanting to buy their players. So make sure you time when you buy your players. That is very, very important. Make sure you remember that. So what I'm trying to say is, don't be fucking greedy and wait so long and then complain to me on Twitter. Oh, these players went up in price. Where's the fucking market crash when it's already passed? When's the best time to sell my players and when's the best time to buy my players? Um, now would be a good time to sell them. I, I made the video when you should have sold them right before Black Friday. I know players have been going up, but... Um, at the same time, you have to remember Christmas is just around the corner. All these kids are going to have the game. And then following that with Team of the Year, bye-bye market. Seriously, bye-bye. Do you think Messi and Ronaldo will have the same Team of the Year rating? Um, This is a very, very hard question. First off, Team of the Year, Messi. He has already a 95 card. So how, how much EA is going to increase his overall? By four at least. Because that's how much Team of the Year 
um, their overall goals up by. So he could, we could actually potentially see a 99 Messi, but I don't see that happening. But there is a big possibility it might happen 98 or 99. Now Ronaldo, he's not going to jump from 93 to 98. So this is a very, very tricky situation for EA. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. But Ronaldo, I think, has a bigger chance of winning the Ballon d'Or over the Messi. So um, we'll see what happens. But I don't see them being the same rating. Uh, because I don't see EA making Ronaldo jump from 93 to 98. But it could happen. It happened last year. That's all there is to it for this Q&A. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more future episodes, um, any feedback in the comments would be really appreciated. And any other questions, I might feature them in the second video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter for the second Q&A or just the Q&A for me in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys have 